And clean water is one of the most basic of human necessities, but for some people here in the U.S., the problem starts with what is buried within the pipes that carry it. Action News' as Nidia Hahn details the crisis in Newark, New Jersey, that had people lining up to get clean water. Nobody cared about the water crisis at first. We did a lot of town halls, educations, committees. In 2017, the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection indicated that lead levels in the tap water in schools, businesses, and homes were nearly two times the benchmark 15 parts per billion established by the EPA. Despite that threshold, experts say there is no safe level of lead exposure and it's especially harmful for children and can cause potential damage to the brain and nervous system, learning and behavior problems, and difficulties with hearing and speech. The nonprofit Newark Water Coalition provided clean drinking water to residents and tested their tap water for free. A woman came to me and she said, thank you so much for telling me about this lead crisis. She was very emotional about it. She had a child with disabilities and her child would continuously drink from the sink. The city of Newark began the $121 million task of replacing the toxic lead pipes. The work completed in three years when it was estimated to take 10. We rallied to meet this crisis because every day you wait, creates more and a more of a peril for people's health. Now the lead levels in Newark are much lower and the city is being held up as a model for cities with a lead crisis of their own. Census data from 2020 shows that about 53 percent of the current U.S. housing stock was built before 1980. Those homes more likely to have been built with lead pipes that haven't been replaced. In fact, the Natural Resources Defense Council recently estimated there are as many as 12 million lead service lines in the U.S. Luckily, some cities are voluntarily starting to pull out their lead pipes, but unfortunately that's the small minority of cities. We really need a rule that actually requires it. And there's more money now to address this issue than ever before, with $15 billion in federal money available to replace lead service lines in America. The city of Newark was successful in replacing their pipes, but public trust will take time. I'm very happy to report that we have limited amounts of lead. I think there's still some lead out there. So one of the things that we offer at the Newark Water Coalition still is testing people's water. Nidia Hahn, Channel 6, Action News. Be sure to tune in to Action News tomorrow for Toronto Thomas' special report, Our America, Trouble on Tap. Toronto highlights the concerns residents in Philadelphia's Eastwick neighborhood have about flooding and contaminated water. Oh, beautiful spring day for us.